Baba mi gbo te mi wo ni ala bo mi wa sun mo mi ti ti o ba o lo go julo mi mo mi mo mi mo wo ti gbe ninu mi wa se ala bo fun mi iwo ba o lo go julo ami ami that is for yoruba listeners and viewers for the non yorubas so love my savior sanctify my breath body of christ be thou my saving guest lord of my savior bid me Welcome to Jessila TV. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. This is the channel we encourage you to find the Almighty God, to believe in the Almighty God, Yahweh, and to believe in His Son, His only begotten Son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Messiah. If this is your first time on this channel, you are welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are, um, if you have been watching us you are, you are an old subscriber we welcome you we encourage you when you, this is the channel we encourage you to always pray before you read your bible prayer almighty god everlasting father to whom nothing is hidden jesus christ emmanuel yeshua the messiah thou art our lord and personal savior a new covenant that establishes our faith our christian faith Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, we come before your throne, Almighty God, this morning, Yahweh. We thank you for the gift of waking up. It is not our lamb that woke us up. Lord, we beseech you to forgive our sins. We beseech you to direct our day today. Yesterday has gone, Father, but we ask for the forgiveness of the things we ought to have done but failed to do. We ask for the forgiveness of all the things that we fell short of doing. Father, we ask the Holy Spirit to purge us, to purge us to confess and to repent of any sin that we have not repented for. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray this morning that you will guide us, you guide our footsteps. We pray in the name of Jesus that we will be the, your light. God is light. And we are the light of the Lord. Jesus, you are light. And we are, you said it, that you are light. In Matthew 5, you are light and we are the light of the world. We are joined here to your kingdom. Father, seek and find the people that you want to save. And you want us to be the light to this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We pray for our sisters and our brothers who are in hostile countries practicing their faith. Father, we pray for those who are in Iraq, in Iran, in Somalia, in Yemen, in northern Nigeria, who are Christians, pray, uh, who are not free to practice their faith without persecution. Father, we ask for their protection. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we remember and pray. You know her, Lord. We pray for Macro, who was sentenced to a year for practicing her faith uh, under the charge of propaganda. She she is a sixty five year old woman in Iran, practicing her faith. Father, we uh, she has been sentenced to one year, and she is allowed to appeal. Father, we pray this morning because you know her and you know all this all everyone. You are the maker of heaven and earth and all that is in it, including the judge. Father, we pray, Lord, that her appeal will be successful. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. 
We are going to take a reading from Luke chapter 9 from verse 45. But they did not understand this statement. It was concealed from them so that they could not grasp it and they were afraid to ask him. Yesterday we read that Jesus told the disciples that he was going to be betrayed into the hands of men and they didn't grasp it. I want to encourage us that sometimes when the Holy Spirit speaks to us, we don't understand. But as Christians, it is okay to ask. And the way we do that is you go into uh, meditation. You go into a silent period. You set yourself aside and your spirit aside. And sometimes if the, your body or your, the spirit is telling you to fast, you fast. Because when we fast, 